Alright boys, today we are going to start a brand new series here called uh, Salt Mountain? Salt Salt? I don't know. It's going to be a salty ass uh, video content. So, I am playing the Atmosphere deck. Uh, I am about to try to rank up. I was thinking like, I might as well just go get King of Games since the deck is so easy to get there. And um, I'm starting to just play through. But as I'm going up, I'm thinking this is either gold rank 3 or gold rank 4. I can't really remember. But I come up against this Pegasus. And this is the very uh, second turn. The first turn, he just set a face down and ended his turn. But this second turn, I'm going nuts. Um, <laughs> uh, I have the agent out. I have the enemy control down. I have a jar down. Atmosphere in here and agent. It's like, I'm about to go bananas. But when I attack into the face down, this guy has set a dragon dwelling in the cave. And he had Toon World. You know he's pissed. Because he's thinking, I should have summoned that in attack mode. Because that plus Toon World would have gave the dragon dwelling in the cave a boost. I think it would have been at 18 maybe. So he was just pissed off. So he just sets and sets. And then I think he plays, oh yeah. Yeah, then he plays this card. He plays Exchange. Of course, so I hit the impossible button because that blew my mind. That was the last card I was expecting anybody to play. And he basically did that so he could take something from my hand. And this dude takes the Agent of Creation. So he messed up. And I think he realized that he messed up when he took it. Because after he takes it, this happens. As you boys can see, we are now entering into the two minute wait thing. I think right when he activated exchange and he realized that he left the atmosphere in my hand and he thought about what he said face down, he was thinking, oh crap. <laughs> I'm about to take an L. <laughs> but instead of just rage quitting, he decided to hit us with the two minute jutsu. Now, obviously, you guys see that this video is a lot longer than two minutes. So something else happened here. I promised you guys the best rage quit of all time. And I think this is it. Uh, Cause this guy at this point was like, okay, I'm, I'm, he's, he's committed to the time thing. So I think at this point I realized it and I began to hit him with a copious amount of totes, uh, taunts. <laughs> <Tults. laughs> now the cool thing about this is is um, that this is like I want to say not too long after I made the video that I uploaded so somebody either one or two things happened either somebody recognized that it was me and decided to hit me with a salt attack or this guy doesn't know who I am and just decided to just be salty as Fuck. <laughs> so we still wait another two minutes, boys. <laughs> so I'm just about to double down on these taunts and start hitting them real fast. At first, I thought it was going to be a DC. But if it was a DC, by hitting a taunt button, it would have activated the disconnect. But it's not a DC. It's clearly the time. So now I'm just ramping up the smashing buttons. <laughs> just listen to my taunt chain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god can you feel it boys the salt the salt is delicious <laughs> And then he ended his turn, and I even gave a little childish giggle after he did that. I think I'll cut back to that and just, like, show you that, the magic of editing while I was recording this. 
But oh my god, this is <laughs> it's the best. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so now I was thinking, damn it, I don't have any monsters in the grave to summon an atmosphere. And I didn't I couldn't eat control because this monster was there. So I, what I thought I was gonna do was attack and then if it was just some like basic monster or something, it could like run into my monster. But it turns out to be this, so I'm like, oh crap. Well I can't suck this turn. So I'm just gonna end turn. Cause he might tribute it or whatever he might do. Um but I plan on at the end of his turn activating enemy controller. Taking control of that, sacrificing, putting the ball in the grave so the next turn I can bring it out and give it the suck. But now he summons a new monster, and I was like, oh crap, he has a monster. And he summons the Asian Venus creation, and I forgot that that was my monster at first. And I hit Jar of Greed trying to hurry up and grab a Karibo because, um,. I thought he was going to summon Shining Balls, but I forgot that that was mine. Then I realized it was mine, and I calmed down. But I didn't even draw the Karibo anyway. I just didn't want him to kill all my monsters, and then I would, it would have to be a struggle for me to summon um, the Atmosphere. But he's about to come over here and try to attack. <laughs> and of course, I'm going to Econ that beast to defense mode, because next time we're going to be giving his monsters the suck. Well, my monster is suck. I'm going to be grabbing my Agent of Creation back. And I think it's the first time in any duel that I've ever done this that I gave my own monster the suck. And I don't know. Might have to call Chris Hansen in on that because, uh, you know, so it might be, <laughs> you can't give your own monster the suck. Oh, wait, no. Chris Hansen isn't for... Oh, no. Never mind. Don't call Chris Hansen. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. So here it comes. I draw order to charge. This deck is amazing. Like, look look at all these cards I have. This is really silly. Uh, so I was like, all right, I'm just going to bring out the atmosphere, give that uh, monster to suck, and then run it over. So summon. Bring him out. Atmosphere. Have no fear. Activate my monster's special ability. Ah, he activated enemy controller, of course. Of course he has enemy controller, but that's fine. I've had, I've got so much advantage, it doesn't matter. So he enemy controllers it, that's fine. And I think this is where he gets really salty right here. So you summon the agent of creation, you activate the effect, you go get a shine ball, you got a thousand life left. And you got enemy control, you have Twister, and order to charge. There are no cards that can save this man in the entire game. Not a single card. He's done. He's finished. He's wiped out unless he hits me for a thousand burn damage, which didn't happen. <laughs> but a thousand, uh, like, like he's done at this point. He's got way too much advantage. And uh, next turn, we're going to give that agent the suck that it deserves. The suck that we've been waiting on. So, here he goes for the draw. <laughs> and I think I go in with a with a taunt for him. Oh, but I think... Oh, I think I'm looking for... I won't let you make a fool out of me. He activates the Ryoku field. And you see me frantically pressing the button. I'm trying to find I won't let you make a fool out of me so quickly. But I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find it. I don't see it. And I'm waiting for it because I can't wait to hear it is. I can't wait to press it. Because <laughs> he thinks he's going to get in there with that beat stick and win the game. <laughs> he thought he was going to win with that. Then he sets his card. Here comes his big attack. He's like, all right, time to kill you, bro. You summoned all these BS monsters, but it doesn't matter. I attack with your own agent of creation is what this man's trying to do. Trying to insult us. Trying to insult the atmosphere. But we won't do that. Because this deck has so many advantages and so many pluses. We can stop him cold with our enemy controller. Put your monster in defense, boy. Quickly. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Put him in defense right now. Defense. 
Now that I put my own monster defense, I'm like I'm like Raphael out here. I made a pledge never to let my monsters be destroyed uh, unless I want to destroy it. I don't let my monsters get destroyed. So I changed my agent of creation to defense so that I could give it a suck so they could be back with me. <laughs> but here comes some more salt assault. And this man's like, I'm about to give him another two minutes. This guy's going to put me on a four minute time waste. <laughs> and probably in his turn at the end. <laughs> oh my God. Now this is now, now this deck. I promise you boys, this is the saltiest deck I've ever made. This deck has produced more salt content than any deck that I've ever built. And I, when I play against it for the first time online, I really hope that I'm able to record it. So now we give our agent the suck. She's back where she belongs. And it's time, boys. The time has come to take down Maximilian Pegasus for Bandy Keith to get his revenge and reclaim the prize money. <laughs> so take the 16 and take your 26 like a boat. OTK action to wipe you out. <laughs> oh, I love this deck, man. I love this deck. I love this deck so much. Give me the prize money. Boys, but that was just a really quick fun salty ass duel i thought i would bring you boys i think this is like 11 minute video so that was 11 minutes of me just mm, 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 absorbing salt that was a g4 match but let me know if you guys enjoyed this salty ass content and until then boys stay salty